Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. And what do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deeg suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them.
on you as a trusted ally and friend. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you? I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. You didn't see that. What a remarkable shot! Well, it appears I've been bested. Well done! Diving, Summoner's Court, seems there's nothing you can't do. You played a good game though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't harmed. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The Hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. 
I couldn't move, paralysed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tribe Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Folks still talk about you taking down that pole in the village. Next time. This must be Iron Shear. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Must be Mary. Poor woman. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. <sighs> I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Lumos. If this is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. Ah, well, this isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. A ladder? I'm not sure I want to know where this leads. <sighs> Best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Hexax, I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse.
my fault you're a deadly great spider. That's one egg sack destroyed. I should get the rest. See them. simply too many. Oh, that's the last of the spider sacks. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breathing the spiders.
No, wait. That's the last one. And she's angry. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the rumours of your involvement. Uh, Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. Fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Hamlet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Quickly! Can I haven't even had my 
I know you. You're the one who stole my goddamn rope with Joker. Tripping at Totale! Algera. Algera. To your knees. <coughs> Hello? Hello? There's a voice coming from that well. <coughs> Can you help me? Is someone down there? Down there? I oh, beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me. Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> he caught. If you could please take it. <coughs> Seems to be some sort of map. You will. Oh, at least better than it did me. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. These rocks have seen better days.
There's something about that tree. Let me open. Interesting way to hide some treasure. lived here, I wonder. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Lumos. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. 
Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. <laughs>